Welcome to the speaking parts of the IELTS exam. I'm your examiner. My name is Hannah. Um, what's your full name? My full name is Nguyen Han. Yes, my... Okay, Hannah, can I see your passport please? Yeah. Thank you. Alright. Here's your passport back. Thank you. Um, I'll record our interview for marking purposes only. Yes. Um, tell me, where are you from? I'm come from uh, Vinh Phuc Province, Vien City in uh, Liên Bảo. Uh, I see. District oh. Liên Bảo District. Okay. Um, I'll give instruction for each of the three parts of the speaking test. Now, in this part, we'll talk about you. Anything about you. Let's now talk about your hometown. Where is your hometown? My hometown is in uh, Thang Chu. Um, I think it's a small village. And so people don't know it much. In my hometown, there are lots of fair um, birds. I see. How often do you visit your hometown? Every weekend. If I have free time, I because it's near near my near my home. I see. How many people live in your hometown? I think uh, more than uh, five thousand. More. More than 5,000 people. What is your hometown famous for? It's five. Um, let me rephrase the question. What is your hometown known for? My hometown known for is uh, uh, volleyball. My uh, people in my hometown play volleyball very good. Oh, I see. What's the oldest part of your hometown? Uh, can you uh, ask me again? Sure. What is the oldest part of your hometown? Like a building? Uh, yes, in the central of my village has a uh, uh, a uh, massive tree. I don't know what what is that tree, but uh, you will, my grandmother told me there's some gods around there, so i so scared to come near it. Okay. That's it's too big. I think it's interesting. I'd like to talk about your school. Who was your favorite teacher in school? My favorite teacher is Miss Hank. He teach Vietnamese. He had a long black hair and she uh, slam. She quite beautiful. What's your favorite subject in school? Of course, Vietnamese. And do you still remember what happened on your first day of school? Yes, because uh, on the first day of excuse me, it's uh, school at uh, secondary school. Your school now. In here? No, your real school, the public school. Oh. Uh, I feel so interested. I see. Um, do you miss your school because it's summer now? Mm, yes, I very miss them. And because I miss them a lot, because uh, I now i up to high school and I can't meet them anymore. I see. Okay. Um, in this part, you'll be given a topic card. You have one minute to prepare and two minutes to speak about it. 
Here is a paper and a pen if you wish to make notes. Do you understand? Yes. Here is your topic card. Please describe an exciting experience you've had. Your preparation time starts now. Time's up. All right. Um, now you have two minutes to speak about your topic. Don't worry, it will stop here. Can you start speaking now, please? Mm, I had an exciting experience. Is it was when I will try. Uh, I just three years old, and I was studying in. Uh, Hoa Hồng School uh, That's my It is the first day I go to uh, class because uh, the last three, two years I uh, my grandfather look after me so I feel so nervous uh, but when I come home, I came to class. Uh, everybody will welcome me, so I feel very happy. Uh, I feel so happy. Uh, we will, uh, my teacher teach me about uh, the numbers, the words and I can play with many friends. It was the most happy day of my life. Uh, it was exciting. It was exciting because I never go to class before, and before it, I feel so nervous. After it, I feel so happy and I find... Time's up. Um, we've been talking about experiences. Um, now let's now talk about some exciting experiences but in general topics. First question, can you compare some exciting activities people do now with activities people did 10 years ago? Uh, People do people do uh, what kind of activities did people ten years ago do and what about now? Uh, when Quang Hải uh, and no. Okay. They yes. they uh, do the they they do the uh, get here building at uh, no they build. It's okay. Next question. Why do some people enjoy doing dangerous sports? I, uh, in my opinion, I think they they feel boring with the normal activity, so they find some exciting exciting uh, activity to do. Do you think 
Some dangerous activities should be banned? No. Nowadays, uh, there are many safety um, safety uh Okay, last question. What problems can people have when they try new activities for the first time? Can you ask me uh, again? What problems can people have when they try new activities for the first time? They will feel so hard to do it because they never do it before. Yes, that's the end of our speaking test. Thank you so much. Can you